I'm going to teach you why Barrow has 24 hours of daylight using a flashlight and a pair of my clean socks. Okay, so bear with me because I don't have any basketballs or baseballs or anything spherical other than socks. Let's start with something called latitude. Latitude are the lines that run like this across the earth, right? Horizontally. And this is the equator in the middle. That's at zero degrees and as we move further north it goes up to 90 or as we move further south it goes down to 90 degrees. Now if we were to put Barrow, Alaska on this little globe here, we would have to put Barrow, where do you think? Let me put down the flashlight. I'll go ahead and put Barrow where I think it would be. Way up there in the north, it's going to be up pretty high in the high latitudes. We're at 71 degrees uh, north latitude. So if this is what it looks like, and we've got the sun shining on the earth, we can see that we have one side that's lit up and one side that's dark, right? And that tells us where we have daylight and where we have nighttime. Pretty standard stuff. However, Earth does not move like this. Earth, as it spins, is actually tilted at 23 and a half degrees, like this. And so as it's tilted to the north like this, and it's tilted towards the sun, we can see that as it's spinning, Barrow is constantly in the sun. So it receives a constant 24 hours of daylight during the summer. I'm not spinning that sock very well, am I? Now, this is during the summer season, so we can imagine also that if the flashlight were on the opposite side, or it would be easier for me to just turn the planet like this. At this point, we have Barrow at the top, tilted 23 and a half degrees away from the sun. And we're going to see, it's getting a little bit of sunlight, this isn't a perfect demo, but uh, really Barrow gets no sunlight in the winter when it's turned and angled away from the sun. Now this is true for any area which is above the Arctic Circle, which is at 66.33 degrees. 